KXOY4 scam alert tonight and an urgent warning from a homeowner north of Spokane. He says two men impersonating employees of DirecTV entered his home, but they didn't stay long once that homeowner started asking questions. KXY4's Kyle Simchuk learning more about this suspicious encounter. It started with a phone call. They had complaints that there were some glitches in the programming. The man on the line claimed he was with DirecTV. They wanted to make appointment and come out and upgrade the, uh, the boxes for DirecTV. At first, it didn't seem suspicious for Sam Eaton. He was having issues with his TV service and was planning to call and have it fixed. They made an appointment for 10 o'clock the next morning. But when two men stepped inside Eaton's home last Thursday, he noticed several red flags. They didn't have a clipboard, a work order, tools, nothing. Eaton found it strange that one man was wearing a Dish Network sweatshirt. And he said, well, my partner here is with DirecTV and I'm with Dish and I'm, I said, well, Dish and DirecTV don't work together. They're competitors. Eaton kept asking more questions, which made the men uncomfortable. And they said, well, we'll just go to the next call. There must be a mistake. And they rushed out the door. The pair left so fast, Eaton couldn't see what they were driving. He reported the incident to law enforcement. We want to know these type of things so we know what's going on. If we don't know about it, obviously we can't look into it. Earlier this month, two men claiming to be cops used fake badges to get inside a home near the Northtown Mall. It's unclear if those men were the same ones inside Eaton's home. For now, he's doing what he can to protect his family. I'm armed. They, if they come back here, it's, it's going to be really bad for them. And Sam says that he called both Dish Network and DirecTV to see if there was any appointment schedules, but both companies knew nothing about it. If you have any information, give Crime Check a call. Reporting in North Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News.